Myself, Rajesh Nara, Minister of Funds, Trade Department, BJMT Indian College Bolo. Today we are doing estimate of Ugi's wear. Wears are usually used to measure the discharge of the water in open channels. Here we are determining the coefficient of discharge for the Ugi's wear. To get the sediment, Experiment that is L into B. Here there is a not direct given an area of overflow pipe, not directly area of overflow because the tank has an overflow, overflow, overflow pipe of 63 mm that is 0 0.063 meter. This is the diameter of that pipe. We have to calculate the area of this diameter that is pi d square by 4. We have to calculate this area and we have to direct the area in this total area of this tank. Next, crust length. Crust length is, this is the who is where. We have to measure the length of this where. That is 15 centimeter. This is the crust length and the water flows on this crust. 15 centimeter. It is 0.15 meter. Next, for theoretical discharge, this is the formula 2 by 3 into L into H. L is 0.15. H is we have to measure in the experiment that is H2 minus H1. Next, square root of 2 g is acceleration due to gravity in the meter cube per second. And next, q actually is equal to a into r divided by t. a is area, r is rise of water, t means time taken to collect the r centimeter of water. After getting the theoretical line to actual, we will get the c, c divided, that is, Q actual divided by Q throttle. We get the C value. This is the calculation part and complete. So now we will start with the. This is the setup of where experiment. This sum and this is flow radiation wall and this is flow channel and here we provided a jelly and mesh to reduce the velocity of the water so that we can get the steady water flow. This is where Ugi's where that we fitted in this channel and this is pointer gauge to check the water level in the channel. Next, collecting tank, we have to measure the outer side of this collecting tank. Then 20, this is 20 centimeter outer side of this tank. plus 10 40 30 plus 10 40 this 20 by 40 is the length into breadth of this tank here one overflow, overflow pipe is provided in this tank we have to deduct the area of this overflow pipe in the area of this collecting tank with the help of this butterfly well we collect the water in this level in the tank. First we have to switch on the motor and allow the water to flow in the channel after up to the first level of this wear. Now I will switch
turning the motor. Next, you have to switch off the motor so that the water starts flowing on the first level of this wave. After complete, when the flow stops from this notch, you have to check the H1 reading. That is you have to check the initial reading. Now the water flow is stopped. Now you have to check the initial reading. It is H1. H1 is 11 cm. 11 cm is the H1 value. Next, you have to switch on the motor.
selecting once again I'll starting at bio start and I will stop the stop watch at 50 10 point 3 to 2 for selecting 10 cm of water the time taken is 10 point 3 to for the second set of reading increase the flow rate and wait 3 to 4 minutes cut the HP value and next cut the time taken for 10 cm of water which will be procedure for the different set of reading Capital H is H2 minus H1 that is 13 minus 11.02. Point zero is the H value. Next we have calculated the theoretical discharge. Theoretical discharge from the 2 by 3 into L. L is 0 0.15, 0 0.15 into H is 0 0.02, 0 0.02 square root. 3 by 2. Next, square root of 2 into j. j means 9 point 8 on. And substituting this, we will get the value of q theoretical. That is 0 0.00, 0 0.24 and 2 plus again. Then, y double 0, 1, 2, 4. This is the q theoretical value. Next, we have to calculate the q actual. Rise of water is 10 cm. means 0.1 meter. Next time taken is 10.32 seconds. By using these two, you have to calculate the actual discharge. That is, A in order of the is area, this is 0 0.0768 into 0 0.1 divided by 10.32. Substituting this, you are getting 0 0.00074 meter cube per seconds. Two. Actual distance. Point zero seven four is the actual distance. After getting two vertical and actual, we add this value to actual point zero zero seven four divided by point. Double zero, one two four. We get the value of point six. Point six is the CD of the reading. This is the complete calculation part of the in this way. Oh, or repeatedly same procedure for different readings. Hope you are all understood the calculation. 